In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for practice exam number four for Math 1030. And we have the following situation. A coin jar containing 200 coins consisting of pennies and nickels, which is one, point, one cent and five cents respectively. Uh, so then we have Takashi here draws out 30 coins from the jar and it consists of 12 pennies and 18 nickels. So we want to estimate how much currency is inside the jar. So we want to estimate how many pennies, how many nickels do we have here? So we should look at those percentages. So you got 12 over 30 is our percentage of pennies, okay? Um, for which we can simplify that fraction. 12 and 30 are both divisible by six. So you could simplify that to be two fifths right there. Um, nickels on the other hand, uh, by this estimate, we have 18 um, over 30. Again, these numbers here are both divisible by six. You get three fifths. And so you see that about 40% of the sample was pennies and thus 60% of the sample was nickels. So if that is a representative proportion, then we can extrapolate that proportion onto the whole population and then go from there to assume uh, that's how much money is in the jar there. So 40% of 200 there, that's going to be how many pennies we get. Uh, but we also are going to take 60% of 200 to get how many nickels. I'm going to times that by five because nickels are worth five cents and pennies are worth one cent there. So notice here, five goes into 240 times, times that by two. You're going to end up with 80, um, excuse me, 80 pennies. So 40% of 200 is 80. Um, similarly, I'm going to times it by one because it's worth one penny there. Um, so now we need to take 60% of 200, for which we can do the same type of thing. Um, five goes into 240 times, times it by three, you get 120. But I can also make the observation that if 40% of 200 is 80, then subtract that from 200, that leaves you with 60%, which is 120. We have to times that by five, of course, because nickels are worth five cents each. Well, 80 times one is pretty easy. It's just 80 here um, times the other one by five there. Uh, you know, you can feel free to use a calculator if you're struggling with the arithmetic here whatsoever. But a nice little trick um, that you could do here is if you borrow a two, because 120 is just 60 times two. Um, notice that two times five is 10. That's a whole lot easier. You're going to get a 600. You know, however you want to get through the arithmetic, you're going to get 600 there. And so 80 plus 60, uh, 600 would be 680. This is going to be cents of course, um, and therefore we search amongst the answers and we see that the correct answer would then be B. There's 680 cents, or that is $6.80 inside that jar, approximately.